Hello everyone, welcome back to Unpack Reboot. I'm Greg, along mm -hmm. with this guy. I'm Michael. No, he's not. No. Steve. <laughs> something just came in the mail. I'm trying to think of something clever, but uh, I guess... Uh, you know, things happen. Things happen. The Super Pocket. And which version is this? Taito. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, was mm -hmm. released mm -hmm. by Hyper Megatech, which is a subsidiary of Blaze that makes the Evercade. Yep, and they also had a, uh, they released a Capcom version of this at the same time. So, now, hang on, before we do it, uh, Okay, hang on. In true unpack reboot fashion, yeah, things happen. You know, this could be just a straightforward unboxing, you know. It's not going to be. We're going to do something, and he may not appreciate this. Probably not. We're going to up the difficulty. Talk about this. He looks so nervous. I hope I get to, He this, looks so there, nervous. There better be candy going in here. Like there is candy. Oh, great. We <laughs> are going to do the review while getting bean boozled nasty so garbage. it is it is so let me just tell you this this special two for one we got here so reboot that crap <laughs> <laughs> if you're not familiar basically what this is there are uh matching jelly beans in here this is the sixth series there's a good one and a bad one every jelly bean in here they look identical i just can't believe that people bought the first five for example you may get liver and onions or it's cappuccino you don't know until you pop it in your mouth i don't like either of those flavors so that's a lose lose old bandage pomegranate rotten egg buttered popcorn stink bug toasted marshmallow and so on we'll keep this out so we can tell you what we got so we're gonna open this and we're gonna do the review while <laughs> while yep. having the worst dumbest yes. candy and they the are bad i got liver and onions and let me tell you it i almost didn't make it through that jelly bean it was horrible granted it did taste like liver and onions so let's, it was authentic let's, let's do this on a video so let's do it on a video so how do you want to do it do we want to i don't <laughs> <laughs> we're going to while we talk about the title super pocket all right, see. and I'd like to thank you for watching this episode. It's over. <laughs> uh, it's not <laughs> over. We're only beginning. Get it going. Yeah, whatever. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. So. I got. Well, he's dying. I got dead fish. I don't know what I got. But it's it not doesn't, bad. It doesn't taste like dead fish. We got to look at the colors. Yeah, it smells bad. It, yeah. <laughs> So it comes with 18 games uh, built in, and I know there's been lots of questions as to why they didn't make an Evercade cartridge. Apparently licensing issues, so they had to make this standalone device. Same with Capcom. It is a nice, very nice teal color with black. That's so bad. So... Um. It's, it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. It's not a bad thing. I actually like that. Yeah, it's um, nice. You have the trigger buttons on the back. Slightly awkward, but most of the games don't use triggers. It has a cartridge cover for whenever you don't have a game. And then your standard A, B, X, Y menu, start, select, and D-pad. Got a little bit of weight, which is nice. Um, ooh, the sound. That sounds pretty loud. Check and pop. Jack and Pot. Look at that. You see what we did there? And Bubble Bobble. Yeah. Is over there. Yeah. It's just I mean, little touches. So it's a pretty so. simple interface. You scroll through the games. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Flows well. The graphics, the screen display resolution. It's really good. It's bright. I will say I enjoy the menu, how the menu slides out. They mm -hmm. did a very nice job on that. So your settings have like your scan mm -hmm. lines. Oops. Display, like you said, scan lines. Also, you can change the menu, music. The difficulty is, so like arcades, 
you have they had dip switches like the physical switches where you could actually change the how hard an actual arcade game was you actually have that control on this device evercade actually doesn't have that yet shows okay. all the different collections that's of pretty arcade cool games. time for another one it's a blue one so it's either toothpaste or berry blue i guess i'll do a blue one toothpaste wouldn't be that bad i wouldn't think i think it's this toothpaste you got it yeah i think i did too actually yeah or berry blue just tastes bad I don't know. That wasn't bad. That so, wasn't bad. We're going to have to do another one soon. So we got a headphone jack, USB-C charger. You can do like you can on the Evercade. You can save, load progress, reset the game. Pretty standard now for emulator, emulator devices. I will say that the triggers are kind of awkward. You have to, you kind of have to like, hold the device a very specific way to be able to hit the triggers without having to hold the mash to the front. Like I saw there are some complaints where people were saying, you, oh, you have to be pressing forward on the front to be able to, but you have to kind of just squeeze in on the sides mm -hmm. a little more. Like I said, most of these old arcade games, you're only using A and B anyway. Because Evercade is now 40 plus cartridges. And, and one thing um, we did talk about too that we were curious how they were gonna handle was, you know, the Evercade, um, the other two that have come out you know they they do connect up to wi-fi and they do update you can get updates so like there you know what happens yeah so there's been a few evercade games that have received updates oh, firmware okay. updates um and those updates actually do save to the cartridges themselves but there's been a couple of cases to where a game's had to be updated because of some random issue not often but this has no Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure what's gonna come up on that. Or maybe they, in the future, release a way that you can hook it up to your computer and update it. Like the original Evercade, not the XP or EFP. Go to like growl, beat them up, so you can see the, the sweet menu jams. Sounds not bad. It's it's really not too bad. It's loud. Jelly bean. Oh, let's go with this nasty thing. All I'm right. sure it's gross. Yeah, oh, pretty... oh gosh! What is this one? Yeah, that's terrible. Dirty dishwasher. I don't know what mine is. Orange and red, whatever. Bad. Barf. Yeah. Great. Oh. I don't know if dirty dishwasher tastes like it, but it might. I still don't know anyone buys these things. I want to know how they come up with the flavor. Somebody tests this and says, "Yeah, that's actually pretty close." Or no, you need to tweak the dirty dishwasher. I mean, <laughs> your face is so bad. <laughs> it's terrible. So you can see there's, I mean, like this game's a cool little old beat em up with apparently a rocket launcher. Ah. And there's no issue. I mean, it, it runs. I will say I played one of the computer game collections on here. And the text was a little bit too small for the resolution of the screen. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the great thing is also, as with any Evercade, it comes with a little, basically a dust cover cartridge. And you can throw in whatever Evercade cartridge you own. While it's on, you don't have to shut the device off. And on this one, you just go to your Evercade menu and the games are right there. Good to go. I will say, when I first started reading about this, and, and maybe it was just me, I did not know it had you could take the cartridge thing out and put new ones in. I honestly thought that this was a dedicated Taito machine and then the, there was a dedicated Capcom with licensed games and they were going to sell a whole bunch of these machines Yeah. with packs. I did not know you could just put in a new... Um, yeah. cartridge so then i was like well yeah, i was trying to figure out the reasoning like behind it you know um yeah. but i i think after seeing this i mean i think it's an issue of portability definitely smaller yeah. than the other two say you just are going to take this device where you have one cartridge you have all the built-in games too it's the way to get to play some tato games <laughs> Tato. 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 I want to play some potato <laughs> games. The biggest competition for this are those mass emulator devices. You have those. It's however you feel about ROMs and emulation versus but if you want an officially a, licensed yeah, device. Yeah, if you want to do it right, you know, official. I mean, sometimes it just, it, 
it does, it feels good to have a cartridge. You pop in there. Or right, anyway, jelly beans that are garbage flavors. Pick one now. I mean, whatever. What? Well, you're supposed to. Yeah, you just told me to pick one. Why well, didn't you're supposed to tell I mean, me what color? Who knows? You either uh, bar for peach, or no, or dead fish. I don't know. This is a good or a bad flavor. It's terrible either way. May have the remains of the last one. Okay, I got peach. Woo! Yes. Um, like I said, I'm kind of impressed with the speakers. It didn't sound too tinny to me. Um, volume is really good. Solid. The like he said the. You know those could probably be problematic. I mean that's kind of a an issue that even the emulating devices have had is how to deal with the trigger buttons on the back. I think I would have liked more, uh, maybe a little ledge with, with that, because um, then you can kind of hold it plus reach over more. This way it does seem a little harder to get to those, but this is nice. This, this really is nice. Uh, it does not feel cheap at all. I mean, they use, uh, you know, some pretty heavy duty plastic. One other kind of interesting thing on that side the original Evercade handheld does not have two trigger buttons, where this one does, and so does the, the newer EXP handheld. Technically, this can play, will be able to potentially play more games than the original Evercade handheld. So, and like you said, there is a Capcom one uh, available as well. And it is blue. So what do you think? I think I like the Tato. <laughs> it's a solid device. It's $60. Yeah, that, was, that was a big one, because what's the... The other ever it was like 130 or something wasn't it i think around there so i think i think you're kind of getting a whole new group of um potential customers with this one too you know probably in the little kids um interested in that one as well yeah um, so you get the new customers you it's an expandable handheld or most of these handhelds in this price range you know you'll find like those little off-brand sega ones or mm -hmm. off-brand whatever ones that are like 150 games and only like 10 of them are actually licensed the rest are just mm -hmm. shovelware i mean this is in that market price wise i know it's it's marked you know taito and capcom but really think of it as just a separate console that has you know came with some free games you know kind of like they used to fifty dollars for a console that you can play a bunch of different games on uh there's what hundreds now uh at least, yeah, I mean, at least a couple hundred i think it was now yeah it's um it's, it's gotten pretty impressive. You know I what else is going to be impressive? Nothing. We're going to eat two jelly beans at the same time. Whatever. <laughs> he's, he's so not into this. No. Worst decision ever. <laughs> I got two terrible ones mixed together into one absolutely terrible thing, I guess. Got rotten egg and old band-aid, I think. I don't know. It's garbage. Oh. So, uh, I don't like my own game. Pros. Who picked this? Some genius. Who are your pros? Come on. My pros. Mm, yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty <laughs> color. <laughs> I think the size of uh, being a little smaller, I guess because I was comparing it to the other one kind of, being able to throw it in your bag or pocket a lot easier and basically have the same outcome as if you brought your other one minus the the connectivity. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat. The size of a Game Boy, just thinner. Colors look good, screens back lit, sounds good. It's just a solidly built device. I think it's priced well. <laughs> this is so bad. So, uh, rotten egg. It smells like it too. Yeah, cons. Cons um I'll steal one of yours, and that's the, the screen heart. A little, just maybe a slight bit too small for some of the text and stuff. It's either that, or maybe you licensed the wrong games on it. Well, it's, the screen size is a little bit smaller, and it's a lower resolution. My only other one is, I don't know how good this D-pad is, simply because there's not many fighting games. I mean, if you have the Capcom one, obviously, you're going to find out pretty quick if you like this D-pad. I kind of feel like I don't think I would like that in a fighting game. That's really kind of my only question mark on it. I don't have much bad to say uh, about it. I was actually impressed. I forgot the name of it, the mode where you can turn it. No, but some games you want to play in that orientation. Uh, yeah, I don't think there'd be a good way to do that so, with this no, device, no matter what. that's the thing. Again, it's nitpicky. Not a really a drawback to it. Uh, just something to think about if you, if you do play some of those uh, other games. Because I know on the last one, that was a big thing people had asked for. 
And, you know, I found myself like some of those, uh, those, uh, plane shooter type games. I forgot they which like, one was on there. They have like the 1944, I think mm -hmm. is on there. Those they got... were good, but here you just have to, um, you know, you, you just, just yeah, play it a little it. small, narrow, but again, I don't think there's that many of those to make a big difference. Yeah. I don't, I don't have a lot bad. I think it's a pretty slick little device. I definitely unpack this one. It's a pretty easy call for me. Mm -hmm. It's, I actually have the other Evercade sitting by it and I've still randomly just grab this one to mm -hmm. play this one. It's, mm -hmm. it's handy. Don't, yeah. I don't notice much of a, I mean, I don't notice any performance difference. It's a solid device. Mm -hmm. I would also unpack it. Absolutely. Um, I would not unpack these. These things, I would reboot them out of here. And so people buy them because it's series eight or nine or whatever Six. we're on because it needs to stop. It has two new flavors. <clears throat> and... Yeah, I feel sick at my stomach now. All right. Bean boozled. Reboot. Get rid of that garbage. You know. This it ramped it up. The Taito machine Keep. is a keeper. Unpack it. Unpack. Enjoy. Play. Enjoy. 60 bucks. And, and then it comes with games. How many machines can do that anymore? Then you get more Evercade you know? games. Evercade games, by the way, are about 20 bucks a cartridge. Yeah. And there's 10 to 12 a year. Mm hmm So plenty yep. to pick from if this is your entry point to Evercade as well. Thanks again. Subscribe. Give us ideas. What you like. Don't, don't like. give us any more ideas like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't see us doing this one again. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you hated that. Maybe you liked it. Let us know. I hated it. Uh, I, we hated it. So uh, anyway, we'll see you around.